All right, in this uh, little video here, I'm going to just talk briefly about rotational work. Uh, you, you learned earlier uh, the work done when you pull something is given by work equals force parallel times distance or force times distance times the cosine theta. So that's if you're just simply pulling, let's say, a mass, right, mass and let's say some force, and it moves to the right, and it, let's say you're pulling at an angle. So you can calculate the work done by taking that force times distance times the cosine of the angle. So if we have something, if we do work, it obviously gains energy. Well, we can also have something called rotational work. So maybe to kind of show you what I mean by that, I'll show you a quick animation. So in this example, I actually have two uh, pulleys, I guess. One's just pulled for the center mass and the second in the bottom part. But the top picture here is actually being pulled out here. So the string's getting unraveled. So as I pull to the right, you can see that the body and the upper body is actually rotating as you pull to the right. So there's rotational work being done here. Here is just regular work. So if, if this is the like translational work, okay, then there is also a rotational work, right? Rotational work. I'm sorry, my writing is terrible here. The rotational work is very similar. The rotational version of force is torque, and the rotational version of distance is an angular distance, which is just delta theta. So to calculate the rotational work, we multiply the torque multiplied by the angular displacement. And of course, we could talk a little bit about power. If you recall, power is the rate of doing work, right? A rate of change of energy. So if we know the work done, remember work is equal to change in energy, then you could take, say, I don't know, that torque multiplied by the angle and divide it by the time, and then you calculate the rotational power. Okay, so there are two examples, how we can calculate the rotational work and how we can calculate the rotational power. And you'll see that in some of the examples that are coming up.